Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a focus stack using Photoshop. And I'm going to show you two different ways. The first way, we're going to use Photoshop as a Lightroom plugin. We're going to take the images from Lightroom, send them into Photoshop, create our focus stack, then return back to Lightroom. Then I'm going to show you how to do this using Photoshop only because I know many of you don't use Lightroom. Well, you don't need Lightroom to do it. You could do it in Photoshop alone. Then I think tomorrow I'll do a different video where I'll demonstrate how to do this with Affinity Photo because I know many of you don't use Photoshop at all, but you do use Affinity Photo. Now you may be wondering why would I want to create a focus stack? Well, I have this image here. I had my camera real low to ground on a little like gorilla pod and I was focusing on the background and you can see the background is in perfect focus but this foreground area is out of focus. Now I took another image and I have this one where I focused on the foreground, but the background you can see is out of focus. Well, I actually took another image between these two images where I focused on the midground. So the midground's in focus, but the foreground isn't in perfect focus and the background is not in perfect focus either. So between these three images, I have this scene in perfect focus from front to back. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these three images over into Photoshop, merge them together so we have one image that has perfect focus from the front all the way through the back. So we're in Lightroom. We're going to take these three images into Photoshop. To do that, click on the first one, then hold the shift key down, click on the last one so they're all selected. Then go up on the image itself and right click and then go down to edit in and then go down to open as layers in Photoshop. It's important you do that. It's way down here at the bottom. And then we'll take those three images and then open them up as layers in uh, Photoshop. Now, the first thing we're gonna do once they open up into Photoshop is we're going to align them because even though I had the camera on a little gorilla pod, um, I had to touch the camera uh, between each exposure to move the focus. I did use a remote to trip the shutter, but I did touch the focus ring of the camera. Now there are cameras that will actually do this focusing for you. For example, I have an Nikon D850 and you could set it up and then have it take a series of shots without you touching it, where it will adjust focus for each shot. And then actually in camera, it merges the images together and creates your focus stacked image. Um, now, in this case, I didn't use that Nikon D850. I used my Sony a7R 4 but it's still very easy to do in Photoshop. Now, we have them opened in Photoshop, and they're over here uh, in this uh, stack in the layers. Now, we're going to align these. Uh, to do that, click on the first one at the top of the stack. Hold the shift key down. Click on the last one so they're all selected. Then go up to Edit, and then go to Auto Align Layers. And then this little box comes up and don't check anything. You don't need to remove the vignette or do geometric distortion. That's all done already in Lightroom. And then the, use the auto projection that will work best and click OK. Now what we'll do is it will um, align these images so they're you know perfectly pixel to pixel on top of one another. And we may get some blank pixels around the outer edges because it had to shift things around a little bit. So it could be aligned, but don't worry about those. We'll crop those away uh, when we're done. All right, now it has them lined up. Now, as I mentioned, we have these kind of blank pixels. In this case, it's over here on the far left. Uh, you could see some, but no big deal. So they're all aligned now. Now they're still all selected over here in the layers panel. That's good, keep them selected. Now we're going to go up to edit and then to auto blend layers. Now you have two choices. You're gonna create a panorama or we're stacking images. Well, obviously we're not creating that panorama. We're stacking the images. Um, we could do seamless tone and colors. Then you could do content aware fill where it will fill in this transparent area. But what I found is that usually isn't very well focused. It's a little blurry. So uh, don't do it. I'd rather crop it away. So I'm not going to do that. So just stack images and click OK. And you can see that it's doing it. And within seconds, it will be done. And you'll see that we'll have a perfectly focused image from front to back. 
And there it is. And there it is. Uh, the back is in total perfect focus. This front area is in focus and that mid ground's in focus. Now what it did on the right, you could see it uh, applied layer masks to each of the three layers uh, with the out of focus areas masked away for each layer. And there it is. Now in this case here, we have some more dead pixels going around the top, left, right, not on the bottom so much. Uh, so we're going to crop those away. We'll just get the crop tool and I'll just move this down like that. And I think that did it right there. And there we have a perfectly focused image. Now, some things you may run into every now and then when you do this, you'll get some blurriness on the edges, um, just on the very edges, just crop it away. There's not much you could do about that. So uh, then now, because we sent this from Lightroom, we need to get this back into Lightroom. So we're just quit Photoshop. That's what I do. Photoshop quit. Then this dialog box comes up. Just make sure you click on save. All right. And then it's going to save this image. You can see the progress bar in the lower left hand corner. It's saving 50%, 58, 60, and so on. So let it do its thing. And when it does it, it will close down Photoshop. And then we'll be back in Lightroom. And you'll see this image appear uh, in Lightroom if it ever finishes. Okay, we're back in Lightroom and you can see there it is. And uh, just like that. So there's the three images. It put it right here, but we can move it over there to the end. So there's the original three images. This is the one where I focused on the foreground. That's the one where I focused on the midground. That's the one where I focused on the background. And there is our perfectly focused image from front to back. Now I mentioned you don't need Lightroom to do this. So let's even just close down Lightroom. And over here on my desktop, I have a folder. I called it Focus Stack, and I have those same three images. Now I have JPEGs. You could use TIFFs, you could use PSDs, you could use RAW files. I'm just using JPEGs for this demonstration because it goes a little faster. So I have the three images there, the same exact three images. Uh, we'll open up Photoshop. And then now, again, uh, from Photoshop, we need to load these three images as a stack into Photoshop. So to do that, go to File, go to Scripts, and then we're going to load files into stack right here. Now uh, we need to load them into this dialog box. Click on browse. There's the three images. Again, we're just going to select all of them. Click on the first one, hold the shift key down, click on the last one and open them. So it opened them in this dialog box. Now we could skip a step. Uh, remember I had to align them after I sent them from Lightroom. Well, we could do that right here as we uh, bring them into Photoshop, just attempt to automatically align the source images. And that's it. Click OK. So it'll bring those three images into Photoshop and it will do the alignment right away for us. And then we'll, we just have that one step left. So let it do its thing. You can see I had the crop tool open uh, when I left Photoshop before. So we still have the crop tool open right now. Okay, now they're in Photoshop. Uh, they're aligned. So now we need to just select all of the images over here in the layer stack. Click on the first one, hold the shift key down, click on that last one. Then go up to Edit, and then down to Auto Blend Layers, just like last time. So we're going to stack the image, Seamless Tone and Colors, and click OK. And then it's going to do the same exact thing it did last time, and then we're going to have to crop it again. And then we could save it from Photoshop. Just let it do its thing. And it's almost done. There it is. OK, there's our perfectly aligned image with uh, focus from the very front all the way through to the very back. Uh, now we'll get the crop tool and we'll get rid of these blank pixels and click that little checkbox. And I still have some blank pixels there. I missed some. So we'll come up the, the bottom here a little bit and click OK. There we go. All right. So we got rid of all the blank pixels. Now we need to save this from Photoshop. Now you could save it um, as a PSD file so that you'll preserve all these masks over here, but then you could save it as a JPEG as well. And uh, we'll do that first. We're gonna export it as a JPEG. We'll go to File, Export, Export As. And from here, you could save it as a JPEG. I would keep uh, quality between 80 and 100%. Uh, most people can't see the difference. Now it's a really large image. You could see it's 9369, but uh, we could export this JPEG uh, for something. Let's say I want to use it on my um, my website, let's say. And I could use, um, I don't know, the, um, the width, let's say, of 2,000. 
And then as soon as I do that, it resizes the height automatically. And just click on Export. And where do you want to say, uh, save it? And we'll save it on my desktop. Focus Stack, we'll call it. And we'll save it right on the desktop, save. Okay, so we exported the JPEG, and I have it at a smaller size than the original image, but we could, uh, again, uh, save all our work here uh, with all these layer masks. And to do that, just go to File, Save As, and we'll give it a name. Again, I'll, I'll call it Focus Stack. And it's going to give it PSD.PSD, so it's a Photoshop file. Again, we'll save it on the uh, desktop right there. And we'll click Save, and you can see the progress bar in the lower left-hand corner, and it saved it. Now we could close Photoshop totally because we have our work saved. And there's the PSD file, and here's the JPEG. So if we click, double-click on the PSD file, it will open up in Photoshop. But if I double-click on the JPEG, it will open up in Preview so we get a look at the image. So that's it. That's how you create a focus stack using Photoshop as a Lightroom plugin and standalone. Again, uh, tomorrow I'll do another video and I'll demonstrate how to do this with Affinity Photo. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.